Yeah. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves and your role in the band? My name is Vaughn Heppy, I play drums. My name is Dylan Gold, I play bass. I'm Zach, I play guitar, <laughs> and my last name's Grace. Uh, my name is McKinley, and I sing. So this tour has one date left on it after night. So what has this quick little one been like? Well, it's actually, we've been gone for like a month. Yeah, yeah it's been a long yeah. tour. We've been, we've been doing well, it. Well, it started with, so what we accidentally did is we thought the tour started earlier than it did. So we left a week earlier than we needed to. So we had a week in Ohio just kind of chill. Just to practice. But it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was yeah. the first time. Yeah. So um, we've been gone from home for a month already. Um, even though the tour is only 17 shows. But anyways, this tour has been awesome. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been so great. Everyone's been super cool. Our society is awesome. Um, the other band the Trace was amazing. Uh, Aaron Camper, great guy. Alex Cute. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it like going back out with honors again? Amazing. Those guys are like, seriously, the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Like, it's like, they're so sincere and it's, it's like almost unreal how nice they are. And they're cool. super talented. It's so fun to watch on stage. Yeah, it's yeah. like an inspiration for all of us. Like, individually, they're the most talented musicians I've ever seen. Definitely. And what has been the favorite city? You had to pick one. Well, I think we're all a little bit different on that one. So I'm gonna say Pittsburgh. Ooh, that one's good. Nah, I, I, I don't think we are different on that one. I think uh, it was Pittsburgh. But Canada was so sweet too. Montreal was amazing until I, Pittsburgh. I, I would say, I'd <laughs> yeah. say Montreal just because we got like tons of new fans. Yeah. And, and Westchester was sweet. They were just though. so freaking loud. Yeah. Screaming. It was a lot of noise. Westchester was not a good time for me. Oh really? That was oh, like you're nightmare. Sick. My voice gave out. Yeah. I love you though. Yeah. I'm glad. Zach's been sick for some of the dates, so that was a bummer. Thanks, Kathy Joe. He's recovering. So what comes next after the holidays? <sighs> presents. I'm going to enjoy those for a while. Presents are going to be great. Yeah. Get a couple weeks out of those. I usually get like a truck control helicopter every Christmas. Those break pretty fast, but they're fun for a while. But seriously, Sorry, just, what was the just question? Just a bunch, just a bunch <laughs> of the <laughs> question. <laughs> what we're going to do is people. Well, everything. Well, wait, what was the question? question? What's next after like, writing, the holidays? Okay, writing, writing, new music. We're gonna lay low and be touring for a little bit. Uh, that's the plan as of now. We never know because our plans change like literally hour. Yeah. Like, I can't say we're gonna go to dinner. We might say we're gonna go to Mexican food. <laughs> but we already ate Mexican food uh, for lunch. Those gringos, shout out. That's good. Yeah, I had a skillet. Um, Anyways, writing. Oh, yeah. We had three gelato. Okay. Uh, Where? Um, Coco. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. I had a like, caramel and a uh, like Ferrero Rocher or whatever. The candy, but so good. I oh, know, right? And like really the displays good. were so good. cool. Like with the pineapple and the yeah. pineapple and, the and like yeah. with the bubble gum. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. bubble gum and the bubble gum. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're we're so we're gonna write. <laughs> we're gonna write and hopefully record. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be recording a bunch of demos, writing, kind of playing the field. <laughs> do what we do that. <laughs> but like, yeah, we're just gonna be writing a lot and uh, enjoying our time at home for a little bit, back in the hood. We're from a place called Hood River, so yeah. when I say the hood, it's not literally the hood. Yeah. So, what is your favorite song to play live, Kevin? Tell me. The Runaways. Runaways. Oh yeah, Runaways. Right with <laughs> Runaways or Tell Me. Either. Tell Me and Runaways are both very good. And if you could collab with anyone, who would be? Jackin. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, that would be Dylan. Howard Benson. <laughs> well, not really collab. Yeah, not really collaborate with him, but work with him. Yeah, work with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. Uh, really? Brandon, you're at the disco. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Mine would be Aaron Gillespie. He's a drummer for Under Oath and the singer for the Omni. He's no not anymore. Was the drummer for Under Oath and the singer for the Omni. Um, and then what song that you've written has the most meaning to it? No. What song that you've written has the most meaning to it? Hmm. For us as a band, I'd say Runaways. I didn't write that at all. <laughs> As a man? Well, yeah, I don't think we can really well, add the personally. band that one. Yeah, because like, we all write it like, together in different songs. So, like, Tell Me is pretty... Tell Me is about like missing someone, and like I think we've all dealt with that. So for me, that one probably. Mm -hmm. Most meaning. Either run away to campus. But...
<laughs> what about you, Alan? What song is the most meaning to you? Uh, it's a tough question for me, too. Because uh, I don't write the lyrics. But, I mean, yeah, they keep your hands off because everyone still, wants Bond. Yeah. Uh, ah! Right, are you kidding me? I'm the drummer. He says, yeah, yeah, right, he uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, of course I can get into this stuff, so, uh, let's see. Let's <laughs> <laughs> cover song. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, Runaways, I guess. Do you guess? <laughs> yeah, I guess. It, it was, it was a correct five? guess. <laughs> it was a educated guess. Yeah, for me it's Runaways. I don't relate to it the most. Awesome. So what is your favorite part about social stuff? <laughs> I like how cool everyone is. Yeah. Like, it's a document. Like, no, I like how we can connect with everyone from a distance. You know, obviously. Uh, we, can, we can get new fans using like Facebook and Twitter. Just using everyone else's friends. It's like an endless dream. Uh, it's such a good tool. Uh, but it's about to be stopped. A stupid sofa. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> should, we, should we get into that? No. Yes, no, 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 no. As, as our duty as a somewhat public figure is to explain the situation. Alright. I'm just going to tell you about a couple things. I'll do it briefly. Alright. A bill is about to be passed. 93 yes, 7 no. About, uh, basically it's SOPA. It's something about, uh, against pirating. And what it does is gives the government the right to like see what we're doing and take it down if we don't like it, if they don't like it. For example, if you post a public protest online, they have the right to take it down. And Another thing passed, NDAA, giving the right to an, uh, uh, sorry, they only work as a little part of it. Yes, uh, detain us indefinitely, meaning if we do something the government doesn't like, they can put us in jail in our own country for as long as they want. Basically, we're losing our First Amendment right, freedom of speech, and that's like that's what our country is based on, and it's in the past, and Obama was supposed to veto it, but he's letting it go. And so now we're losing our right to free speech, and the government has the right to put us in jail if, they say something we, if we say something they don't like. So, for those of you watching it, <laughs> take to the streets. Uh, I don't do that, I'm just kidding. But Clearly. seriously, it's, a, it's actually a big deal. It is. Before, they stopped, not, so basically, the media kind of didn't really pay attention and they just let the whole thing slide. So, everything got passed without people paying attention. Thank you, Fox News, CNN. <laughs> Everyone, seriously, it's a big deal. And nobody even knows it's happening. And the next thing you know, you'll go to jail and be posted something anti government online. <laughs> Oh, oh no, they just shut down Facebook and YouTube. And wait up. Before our name was Sunderland, we did go through a phase where we called dissidents, right? Oh, oh yeah. We had, some, we had some anti government songs. We went, we went through a punk phase. I think we should switch back. Down with yeah. the band, man. Dude, uh, you want to switch? It sounded so good back then. <laughs> Sorry, but seriously, it's a big deal. Pay attention. Google NDAA and SOPA. It's a big deal, and people need to be aware of what's happening. So I guess Sheeple. you could go off of that with organizations you support, oh, yeah. like charities and stuff? Are there um, any, like... We do support a charity in our hometown. It's called, uh, oh yeah, MyFight. MyFight is a company, it's... Uh, not from our hometown. No. They fund micro-loans, so basically, like, you give them money and you buy t-shirts from them, and they give uh, loans yeah, to third world countries and communities. Okay. And what they do is they allow them to buy goats, various farming equipment, so they can invest in their own futures. Also, we support a local place and a local cause called uh, Save Our Schools, SOS, and uh, because uh, Oregon school system is kind of tough for funding, we've done some benefits and raised them like over $50,000, which is pretty cool. And also, we won a contest recently and we donated a chunk of that to them just to help them out. Because, you know, we all come from the public school system. Well, we did. So we're trying to give back a little bit to our community. So we support those causes. Awesome. And then, lastly... <laughs> <laughs> We support other stuff too, but I feel like that's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>